tier what is this expansion called i'm kidding this is my tier list for whiz bangs workshop chat i'm gonna base this off s all the way to d with s being probably gonna see play and probably gonna get nerfed d it's not gonna see play whatsoever all right let's start it off well, who's the first one here let me get all the legendaries so we can we can do this like a true youtube gamer um we're gonna all classes and we'll go to we go to legendary chat where rarity would you be if you were a hearthstone card i feel like most of you would probably be rares because there's only there's only you can only have two copies of you all right let's first sonia also can we just discuss something real fast dude someone linked me a comment on reddit okay someone linked me a comment on reddit that was like is this the the title of this post by the way was is this the first card that has like her foot in the artwork and then some guy in the comments below wrote calm down raren like bro if i looked like i'm some feet like anyways like bro it wasn't anyways all right four minute three three after you play a one cost card get a copy of it that costs zero i think this card's very good there's a lot of uh playable cards with this i think this is a card that you have to pay very close attention to because it does give you a zero cost card and as we all know mana cheating is very good uh i don't think there's really a situation where this will be like horrible there's probably gonna be situations where it's like no, it's not a good top deck but i think this is gonna be a pretty good card i don't think it's gonna get nerfed but i do think it's gonna get played i'm putting in eighth here also her feet are very nice sorry who said that whiz bang where's was where, where is he whiz bang whiz bang am i blind checking for glasses check there he is uh splendiferous i think that's how you say that whiz bang i don't know we don't really see the decks here um i'm sure they're posted somewhere i think but I, how do you rate this card i i legitimately think it's s tier though i don't think it's gonna get nerfed but i think it will be the most popular card of the set so i feel like i have to say it's gonna be the most played card other than zilliax which we'll get to very shortly but i think it's really really cool i'm excited for the record for people who are curious um i will be the first the first day of the not the, maybe not the first day but the second day of the expansion so next wednesday not this wednesday next wednesday i will be starting a new account with Wizbang, and i will be climbing the legend with it that will be my series for this expansion because that sounds really fun so that's what we'll be doing uh i'm very excited for that even if the card's bad we'll, we'll try to do it we'll see how long it takes me uh because just because it looks really really enjoyable who's next panda lady the panda lina shot manager six by three three whenever you cast a spell fill your board with random minions of that cost okay legitimately i don't know how to feel about this card because this card has potential to be insane lena is this a canon character in warcraft leo or is it, this is like a hearthstone person interesting so glad i'm here so i can make sure rare names correctly you know i'm gonna mess you know i'm gonna mess it up i still call posec posec or whatever the hell his name is this one's tough dude because uh i think this card has potential but let, let's let's imagine what arguably might be the best case scenario here you play this in rogue maybe and then you go prep play this into a spell that sounds kind of fun but most of the time i think you play it for cost spell and that's that's basically what it's going to be unless you're druid because in druid you can play this you can get your enr refresh all your mana crystals and then summon a board with some juicer spell so i mean because of druid prep would trigger no 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 you play prep first right then you play this card and then you do it but like you're still getting the same cost spell right right i don't know i feel like this is so tough because if you don't have a spell this card's bad but you can say the same thing about sonia but i think sonia having a zero costing is really really good it's the cost when played yeah okay have we had anything like this before i'm trying to think of like what's the closest comparison here i think it's gonna get played in druid i legitimately think in druid it has potential just because of enr play enr you play this i mean your enr has to live but i feel like it's very possible to make that work there's a lot of good cards with enr i don't know i'm not optimistic i don't think it's the worst thing i'm gonna put it in c though can't wait for you to play this than the coin after no i will not do that i will not do that oh shit i dc'd I like, what is that noise in the background you guys ever okay have you guys ever done this sometimes it'll be late at night and i'll queue up a game of like hearthstone or battlegrounds and then i'll all tab and i'll get distracted and then all of a sudden i'll start hearing the rope but it'll go very quickly so i notice it even more and then i'm five turns in and i haven't played a single card and then i just immediately concede it happens to me more often than I want to give credit to. And 
It's not great. <laughs> but whatever. All right. Raza the resealed five mana five five battle card for the rest of the game. Your hero power refreshes whenever you play a card. I'm going to be real here, chat. I think this card's good, but I don't think it's insane. I just don't see a world where this is comparable to like Raza with Anduin. Like Anduin, there's not a card in the set that I could tell that doesn't do damage with this other than Reno, other than the Reno card. So I think what this card will be is good for the current time in this expansion, but then maybe at some point you will, um, this will get better because if, if we think about Raza from mean streets, Raza was fine, but then you got Anduin and all of a sudden this card went ape shit, right? This card was really, really good. OTK with overheal legendary that does five damage. Like, I think that might be a playable card or a playable combo, but I do think there's like better things you could be doing in standard. I just think like the card will be played. I just don't think it's like insane, insane. Because people will think about this and think about Raza and Anduin, but we don't have the Anduin yet. The closest thing we have is Hadonis, I guess, but I don't think that's really that good. Because that means Hadonis has to live. One of the reasons why like Anduin was so strong was because you once you played it, your the effect was there permanently unless your opponent was like interfering with your hero power. So I, I do think this will be good, just because it is um it is a very playable effect, but I don't think it's gonna be S tier, right? I, I don't think it's gonna get nerfed. I don't think it's gonna be like insane, insane. Like you guys see what we do? You guys see what we you guys see what we're currently doing in standard right now. So we'll see. Reno hero power plus Raza. Again, that's probably gonna be good, but I don't know. I just think that I'm not like as optimistic as me. I'm still thinking it's going to be a good card. It's probably like here or here for me, but I don't know. Again, David will, David will look at me and be like, you're an idiot. Let me close this. I'm tired of hearing the people in my background going. Rrr, 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 rrr. Okay. Who's next? The shaman card. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yo, you guys watch the fallout trailer, by the way, for the Amazon show. I'm kind of stoked for it. I had that. I've had that song. That's like, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. Uh Hageth of the Fabled. If I made a 4-4 four, four battle cry, draw two spells that cost five or more, transform them into slimes that cost the spells. Okay. I think in Highlander Shaman, this will be really good. If Highlander Shaman's a playable deck. The thing is, the thing is, I don't know how good this actually is. Because I think most of the time I'd rather cast a spell than play a minion. But the the real thing about this card is that it's better with this card. So if I'm rating them like as the package that Shaman got, I do think this is playable just because this is too, this is just too good. This card's just fucking nuts because like it makes this card better and like it makes the, the slimes that you get even better. And that's okay. Wait, quick question for you, chat. I need a quick clarification if you don't mind. If a card targets with a spell, do I get to pick the target or no? Yo, uh, Mashu Mello, thanks for the sub. I need to, that needs to be confirmed. You do? How the Naga works? I'm just just curious, just in case. Just like the Noglings. Okay, I feel like this is gonna be good then. This 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 will probably be good. I, just because, like, I think, and like, just as a card, it's not bad because it's drawing you two spells, dude. So it's like five mana, four four, draw two spells, and then get two five five minions or potentially more because you have to. It's the equal to the mana cost, right? But it's the stats are also equal. I don't. know. It's tough just because. It might be so slow, but Shuttle Walk makes it so insane. Like, this card is so good. Drops not showing up. Chad, they're not here for another hour or 53 minutes. What did the title say? I feel like the title says it. 1 p.m. EST. It's not 1 p.m. EST yet. One more hour. And then we'll be I. We'll get some drops. Five drops you even want? Great question. I think it's going to get played. I don't know. I don't think it's bad. I'm just going to put in B. I think it's a fine card. It doesn't get me like, holy moly, uh, that's going to be really, really powerful. But I think just sometimes the most boring effects are usually like really, really powerful, right? Like the, the Death Knight from Druid was really, really good. Okay, what was next, sorry? Uh, this is this. Okay, dude, I, I'm going to be honest here. I am very worried for this card because I don't know how the the AI or like the decision wheel is going to work for this card, the decision path. Because like, yeah, it, it is randomly generated. Like not randomly. It's randomly decided what card you get based on like what the board state is. But man, like if he casts Blizzard like two times in a row, like I'm pretty sure the card's just insane. 
and then you get additional spells after that yeah you're playing a six mana five five but like who gives a shit maybe hot take but i can't see shuttle block being good because it can't target heroes my guy it'll be insane i promise you Wis wisdom ball is going to be the new wish patch notes out but i'm doing my my tier list will it try to play ice berry if you have ice berry in play i don't think so see like that's the thing i don't know this one's really weird like it's a really interesting card i do think it's very strong but i'm not sure i'm not sure if it's how good the ai will be that's the problem right that's the problem so it won't be as good as zephyrus but still useful yeah but like that's what i'm saying if if you get six spells right and let's just say two of them cast fireball or blizzard back to back like i'm pretty sure you're stoked like regardless of what the rest of them are like this card's fine if it casts fire like if it casts blizzard once when you need it like i'm sure it's gonna be fine so easy viper yo lock and sock thanks for coming to support on youtube dude i appreciate that okay what's next uh we just saw this guy what's his name where is he stitch and snoo two six mana six four battle card discover a five three and one cost me to stitch to this death battle summon the five costs chat told me that you summon the five costs then you summon the three costs and then you summon the one cost i think this is a good card like i don't i don't think it really is it's just a good card like you're, you're gonna play that card it has no blood requirement either so it's like it's just pretty good okay that's a that's a lot of stuff yo fc slay what's up dude is there a, any specific hype cards on the set besides shutter block uh the, this this one and whiz bang but this card seems really good we'll get to it soon though okay chat how is califero done what's his name i think that's how you say it please tell me i didn't run califero leo is shaking his head listening to me to speak is this card playable i mean it's not bad check the patch notes before they spell they're wild i'm not looking at it after i'm not worried if chat spoils it for me sorry it's not like a movie i'm excited to see i'll, I'll look at the patch notes the patch doesn't come out today right it comes out tomorrow it's meme i feel like it's at least a c tier because I've, I've seen it get played all right we just saw shutter block i'm just gonna put it up here but we'll discuss real fast i think it's gonna be the best card of the set i think it's nuts Dun, 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 dun. where is this let me put like music on i feel like weird just hearing nothing shutter block overrated bro i'm gonna cast my battle cry three times and tell you that you're overrated thoughts <laughs> six minute five five minutes tries battle cry your next battle cry triggers three times but can't damage the enemy hero then this is the mini version you can also get a one minute one one i don't think it needs to go face for this card to be playable i think this card's insane this is value tempo in one and you get a one minute version of it like, I don't know. I think it's going to be very, very strong. And it's here for the next two years, which means every battle cry that's printed for Shaman just gets better. Okay, Owlness. Seven mana, six, six spell damage plus one. Your spells get double bonus from spell damage. Okay, here's the thing, chat. I'm terrified of this card. I'm terrified. Terrified of this card. I think this card's going to be insane. If I gave it to any other class, I wouldn't give a shit about it. But it's with Druid. <laughs> Druid is kind of disgusting. The only reason I think this card's really good though is because Druid got another card that says it's like three mana, reduce the cost of all your minions in your deck in hand, but like minus one attack. I don't know if it was hand, but I, I think this card has so many, maybe not in the Whizbang expansion, but like at some point, bro, at some point, this card's gonna be a problem. And ENR makes this card even spookier, right? I'm putting it in. I think that's the chance. What's next? Bot face. Nine minute three nine taunt after this takes damage get two random minis okay so this one i think is gonna be okay just because you could cheat it out it really depends on the minis you get but it, it's really hard to tell because the minis seem like they're they're kind of synergistic with cards so like i'm gonna go like probably c i don't know actually it might be a b I feel like it, I feel like we're gonna underestimate how good this because if you get the shutter walk one dude if you get the shot if you get the shutter walk one dude it's nuts and like everything scales off the reno card or the brand card right so double battle cries with the mini minis i'm a little spooked yeah we'll check the patch on soon i promise you okay who's this i don't even know what card this is oh yeah geppetto yo there's no doll there's no uh what's his name dorian card eight mana six six battle card gotta get copies of every one attack or one health minion you play this game i mean this one's like a miniature wombo combo right pretty slow but if it is playable s tier was shutter i don't know it's nice to see raren being so active and doing all kinds of fun and entertaining challenges every time i'm having Camille, raren videos are a must watch thanks bro i appreciate it dude thank you thank you i mean it could be good 
but I do think the other chip is better. Like the, the one from Shadows. I'm gonna put chat. This might be a hot take, but I'm gonna put this in C. I'm not I'm not really sure how good that's gonna be. I think it's kind of whatever. I think uh I think it's a cool card, but it might be just like win more. I, I might be I might, I might be trolling on that one. It's really tough to tell because we'll have to see how well or how good minis end up being. But do you really want to pay eight mana for that? I don't know. Um, okay. The next one is the Demon Hunter one. Okay, I'm happy to say this. I'm happy to say this, but I think this card's bad. Thankfully, the only time I think I'm worried for this card is if they get exactly Altruis, zero mana twin spell, uh, twin slice, and the maybe the five mana Anton guy on exactly on turn four. I think this card's bad. Like if if it put it in outcast position, like the skull, then it'd be broken. But the fact that it's a death rattle too, I think it's bad. I'm gonna put it here. Might be useful. Might be useful. Okay, we talked about the headless horseman earlier, but I'm gonna put him in S. Um, without going too much into it. Because I feel like a lot of people are just going to talk about this. Generally speaking, hero cards are very strong. And what ends up happening is if you if you find your hero card and your opponent doesn't have theirs, you become very, very good. Like, because you're, you're just going to get more value. And then if you draw the head, you get to discover a dead every single turn. It, it It's just, it seems so strong. And like Rainbow definitely actually seems like a real deck. So, yeah, it's pretty obvious. Okay, this one's probably the most interesting. We saw this. Yeah, why did you write wow your review doesn't rhyme okay fine let me try again let me try again let me try again um this hero is good just like it should i'm gonna be annoyed uh no annoyed's not a good word because I, I the only thing i can think of is toy but like that's not good i i tried my best <laughs> is it nerf worthy it might be we'll have to see We'll have to wait and see. Thoughts on using Sharp Eye Seer with the Headless Horseman to draw the head? You're telling me I can play a single card to get head? God damn. Hey, returning HS player and a new follower. I've been binging your YouTube for a week now. I love your content. Should I wait for the new set to spend my dust? Yes. 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 Wait. And then you could sp you could craft a card that gives you three mana to get head. I, that joke is going to be made so much, and I'm going to be a brand risk by the end of this expansion. All right. This is probably the most exciting legendary in this entire set for me, other than Whizbang. I think this card is fucking cool, dude. Five minute, four, six, battle cry once per game. If you summon five other dragons, takes an extra turns. Uh, here's the thing. Priest got a lot of really good dragons this set, and there's already dragons in the game that are good. I'm not going to say this is going to get nerfed, but I think this is going to be better than Raza. I'm going to put it out there. I'm gonna put it. I think that card's better than Raza. I'm caught. Caught. Might might be might be the biggest decision. Might be the worst decision I just said out loud. But I legitimately think that card's insane. And and it might actually get better with more dragons being added. Not S. I just don't know if it's gonna be played in everything. We'll leave it here. It's probably better than Sonya though. I just don't know if it's on the level of the other two. Is this a hotness tier list? Yeah, I'm I'm really attracted to the Shutter Block. Have you looked at his eyes? <laughs> Where the hell is the... Um... I'm scrolling through every card. You're trying to find this card. There he is. Inventor Boom. 8 minutes, 7, 7, Battle Cry, Resurrect. Two friendly mechs that cost five or more. They immediately attack random enemies. Does this card have potential? Oh, thank you. I can't wait to see you in another Hearthstone streamer failing predictions video with the priest card on top of A. Listen, it's just free advertisement, bro. People are going to be like, stupid, Raren. Why did he think that? But you're not thinking about the long con, dude. Let me tell you why. They're going to, they're going to, like, here's what's going to happen, okay? They're going to watch that video. They're going to be like, man, Raren's really stupid. I'm going to go tell him to his face. Next thing you know, you're in this Twitch chat making fun of me, but it doesn't matter because you're in a pool of other people who still make fun of me regardless. So, like, it's like you're attacking something that i have molded my defense for for fucking years at this point in time but yet guess what you're another viewer another ad plus five cents for my part it's a win-win for me it's a win-win okay, anyways um <laughs> i think this card's fine i just don't know how good the mech warrior is gonna be but dude this kind of goes hard in highlander right should have been seven mana seven mana seven so i agree actually it's kind of it's kind of cringe but that means they have a seven man wait no you have the Dr. Brandon Hero Power is still seven, right? Auto include in Highlander. Yeah, but like, that's not like a good, it's not like a good thing to say, you know? 
I feel like you want the car to be like, I'm building a deck around this, not I need an extra car to my Highlander deck because I can't have any duplicates. Yo, White Jacks, thanks for the sub. I'm gonna give it a B. I think it has potential. I think it's a pretty whatever card, like in terms of like flavor, not flavor, um, effects, but it'll be fine. Okay, arguably the worst card of this entire set, arguably. What is this? I think this card's booty cheeks, chat. What do you defend defend your card? Defend Hammett with his nerf gun. Hitting hitting you from the, the crow's nest. He's hot. <laughs> Seven mana king crush. Really? You play it with Swarm Hunter for a shit ton of value. Buddy, there's so many bad beasts though. Imagine having like three rushers. You have five mana mini countess and hunter. Buddy, Kermar, did you just buy the whole fucking shop at the copium store, dude? Yo, Koob 1cc. I think that's how you say that. Thanks for the sub. Check legendary beast from the past. I'm too lazy. <laughs> and like the fact I can't remember any of them is a problem. I guess Acid Maw's fine now. Z uh, Zixor is probably okay. There's like King Crush, I guess. The Colossal, I guess, is fine too. I wouldn't be against having a Hydralodon. Seven mana Baku. Is Baku a beast? Why do I think she was a dragon? There's some, like, don't get me wrong. There's some high rolls, but there's definitely some shitters. There's definitely some shitters, I'm pretty sure. I'm not a huge fan of this. I'm going to put it in C. I just don't think it's very good. I think you'd rather do anything else in Hunter. Especially because Hunter's pool looks really strong, this expansion. Rat King's also insane. Dude, just because it was the nickname and your nickname in high school doesn't mean it's going to be good. No, it'll probably be good. It's going to be. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. Okay. Uh, Nemzi. All right. Do we uh, do we automatically put this in, in D tier because it is Nemzi? I will say from a flavor perspective, I love this card. The Grandmaster Nemzi, the D&D &D aspect. I think it's really fun. I'm excited to see the animation for this. That was rude, Mr. Streamer. Dude, there's nothing wrong being, being known as the Rat King in high school. <laughs> I think this is Skull of Minari at home, though. But to be fair, Skull of Minari was really good. So it's tough to match that, that power level. But it could be spicy. It's a 3-6, though. I hate her mouth. She looks pretty smug. I want to punch it. I agree. I I I, I think it's... I, I'm just not optimistic that this is the build you really want to go for Warlock. But again, chat, you got to remember, she's here for the next two years. So she might be good, but I think it's going to be here. All right, the other Druid Legendary. Sky Mother Aviana. That's the third Aviana in the game. Quick pop quiz for you, chat. What character has the most amount of cards in the game? I actually don't know the answer to this, so I'm excited to read. I was going to say Reno. I think it's Reno. Might be Elise. Yo, what's this banger? What is this? God damn. I think it's Reno, right? Anyways, six mana, five, five. Battle Cry Shuffle, 10 random legendary minions in your deck that cost one. What do you guys think of this card, chat? This one's tough to evaluate because this one's definitely a more fun card. I'm going to be real. I think this is my least favorite art ever made in Hearthstone because it just looks so whack. I don't know what it is about it. I, I, I'm just not a fan of this art style whatsoever. I, I, I think it might look really nice when it's golden, but it just it just feels really out of place. It hurts my eyes. Easy S rank, really? You can't get Titans from this, right? Just want, just want to be uh, very clear. Did you see your signature, Leo? I did not. I haven't looked at any of them. The text is fun, though. Titans cannot, cannot be randomly generated ever. All right, I'm going to put it in C. I don't think a random legendary that good is great, but there's good legendaries to get, so it's a fun card. Okay, Zilliax is... I'm not going to go over Zilliax, but it's basically build your own robot. You guys ever been to Build-A-Bear before? It's the same concept. Build your own robot. Uh, and there's so many options. This card's going to be insane. Very good. Other than Whizbang, most playable card of the set, for sure. So we'll just, we'll just move on. Did you just type C for Zilliax? Are you are you talking about the, the Aviana card? <laughs> These are big questions. Okay, let's see the Paladin one. Pipsy Painhoof, 7 mana 4-4, four, four. Death Rattle Summon, a random Divine Shield Rush, and Taunt Minion from your deck. Okay, I'm going to be real. I think this card has so much potential. Am I smoking crack? <laughs> Am I not coherent? It is so much stuff from one card 
Bro, here's the thing. You guys are not thinking big enough. You run the location from Paladin that gives you rush, okay? You play Pipsy. Pipsy smacks into someone with the rush. Next thing you know, you got a Divine Shield, a rush, and a top minion. You know who's coming out with the boys? And by boys, I mean Pipsy. We got Tyrion. We got uh, the Titan. We got any rush minion like Zilliax. Next thing you know, you're in the fucking clear. You win that game. Bada bing, bada boom, it's over. Right? Yo, Unicorn, thanks for the sub, bro. You can get the Titan. You can get the Titan, can you? Yeah, but if you draw them, it's over. You just don't draw them. What do you mean? What? Buddy, it's simple. You just don't draw them. What? Yo, uh, Molk is Molk son? Then you get Renoed. True. No, she's probably C. But I think she has You know, another hot take from Aaron here. Another hot take. I know you guys watch me for my hot take, so I'm going to put this in B. I think there's a real chance that one of you is going to be crushed by this card and then there's going to be a post on Reddit one day, one day, and you will remember this moment. Remember this moment, Reddit commenter, when you're raging that Pipsy Pena of summon Tyrion Fordring. I don't remember the Titan's name for Paladin and Zilliax. Let me pop the hell off. Okay, King Plush. Can we just take a moment and appreciate how goaded this card is? This card's nuts. Nine mana, six, six charge. Battle card return all minions with less attack than this to the owner's hand. I love this card. You got a new camera? No, I just changed the angle. What do you guys think? Need your protractor out, chat? What do you think? I don't know if it's, I don't know what that was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. Return deck to my hand. Why did I say hey it? I'm stupid. Deck. All right, let's be real here, though. I'm putting it in. I think it's a good card. I think every hundred deck runs it. You did that every time. You guys don't realize this, dude. You guys, you need to wake up. Wake up. I'm here for the engagement bait. You want to hear my strategy here, chat? In that video I posted on Saturday, the one where minions can block, I said in that video, I was like, this is going to be Hearthstone, but Magic the Gathering combats. But I didn't ca copy Magic the Gathering combats one-to-one. -one. I just basically made it so that we can block minions, okay? Do you know how many comments I received? You have any idea how many comments I received telling me this is not how magic combat worked? Bro, it was free. Free. Anyways, King Plush is going to be really good. <laughs> I was, it was, it was so genius. It was so genius. Anyways, if you want to know how I made it as a big YouTuber, just, just rage bait people to type in that something that they know is very, very true. Watch, I'll do it again. Watch this right now. People, are, people who are were not are not paying attention to my entire speech right there. Watch, um, shoplifter Silverbeard, six mana five five. After you summon a pirate, summon a copy of that attacks a random. Summon a copy of it that attacks a random enemy, then dies. Uh, based on what I saw from the pirates that were released, uh, I think Silverbeard here is going to be pretty shit. Uh, I don't think he's going to be very good. Now, here's the thing, pirates. Potentially could be good future on, but yeah, Silverbeard here, I'm not about it. I'm just not about it. I think it's horrible. Maybe there's a spicy combo with it. <laughs> Maybe it's a spicy combat or combo with it, but I'm not feeling it. Actually, he actually might be the only D tier. No, I'm kidding. He's fine. I don't think there's actually any D tier legendaries in this. They're all kind of good in their own way. All right, the mage spell. Okay, chat, I could be wrong. But, you know, the more I think about this card, I feel like I saw this type of card in one of my videos before. Was it like the... I think like I showed it to like Ecore or something. I can't remember which one it was. I don't remember. The Galactic Projection Orb. 10 mana. Recast a random spell of each cost you've cast this game. Target enemies if possible. Dude, I really hope this is playable because I think the effect is so cool. Uh, I'm a little nervous that this is not going to be main deck because it's such a specific card. But maybe I'm wrong. I came for dungeon runs, stayed for yapping. We'll get to the runs after. Sorry, there's just so much Hearthstone content to go through, right? Recast Blizzard Flame Strike and Mega Box. I think at Wild, this is going to be fun. Shout out to people who play Wild. All, all three of you. Sif is too good, sadly. I mean, that doesn't make this card worse, right? It just means that Sif is a better card. It's 10 mana chat. It's 10 mana, guys. Are we really running 10 mana cards in my Hearthstone game that don't refresh my mana crystals immediately like Druid? Rune of the Archmage can cast this? That's a wild thing though, right? Is Rune of the Archmage coming back to standard? What are we going to call this card? 
Like, are we going to call it projection orb? Are we going to call it the orb? I'm not going to call the galactic projection orb every single time. I'm going to go insane. What's the highest high rolls the orb can manage? In standard, there's Sunset Valley, Volley, I think. What is it? What's the nine mana spell chat? I don't even know. Eight mana is the box card that they showed. I GPO your face. That doesn't have a nice ring to it. She galactic my orb until I projection. Thoughts? Now that beautiful note, I'm going to put this in B. I don't know if you main deck it though. I don't, I'm, I'm really nervous that this card will be really strong if you discover it. But I guess with DJ Mana Storm, that's potential. I don't know. It's tough. Wheel of Death, eight mana, destroy your deck in five turns, destroy the enemy hero. It's Shadow. Okay, I, listen, I pray to God this card's horrible. I'm pretty sure it will be bad. I don't know how you play this card. I don't even know how you do this. Like you're spending eight mana <laughs> in the hope. Like you gotta have a sick fucking board if you're playing with this one. Raren, are you trolling? What do you mean? Insane with sludge poggers? Raren, video incoming? You guys think I'm gonna play this until I win a game with it? Are you guys insane? I would never do that. David, David, write notes. I don't know if David's here. <laughs> this card is cancer, delete it, please. This card is not getting played, bro. I don't think you have to be worried about it. Now, yeah, it's the Yogg aspect, right? Cause it can be randomly played. Tony is back. Tony's Tony's been dead for too long, bro. Don't bring up the name in the stream. I can't do it. Even if it just said destroy your deck, it would be good. Oh yeah, you're right. Hey man, to destroy my deck. Yeah, you're right. Fun fact for you guys. There's a card in Rastakhan's Rumble that destroy. It's the same cost as this, but it destroys half of your deck and your opponent's deck. And that card sucked ass. I'm just going to put that there. All right. Next on the list, we have the Paladin. Poi Captain Tarum, five minute three seven minute tries taunt battle cry set a minions attack and health to this minions. I think this card's pretty good, and it's a mini version. I think it's very strong, and I think the mini version's insane. I think this is one of the best legendaries in the game. I'm gonna put it here. I don't think it's gonna get nerfed. I think it's just very good. Just I I I actually think it's a really good homage, homage to uh, Tarum. The original. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you, chat. I actually, I, you know, I don't think about Hearthstone cards too often when I don't make content, but I thought about this card. Make Theory on Unleashed. I was like, dude, this is this is a card that is so strange because it's so counterintuitive to what you actually want your minions to do. Because most of the time, you'd rather smack your opponent with a 12-12. But this is such a weird win condition that you kind of want to play towards it. So it's it's a cool design. I don't know. Wheel and then two ice blocks. GG. Be better with charge. I really don't know how to evaluate this card. I'm going to be honest. I think at first glance, I think it's pretty bad. So I'm pretty sure it's here. Maybe here, but I, I feel like I don't want to play for this. I could be very wrong. I'm going to put the highest to C. Anyways, that's my tier list. I hope you guys have fun. God damn.